What's the difference between guilt and just feeling like shit? Hey, before we dive into today's podcast, I just wanted to send you a gentle reminder that this is your last and final call to fill out the Mastery Coaching Program application. If you haven't already, head on over to momisincontrol.com and do so now. On June 2nd, we will be switching over to the wait list and we will let you know when we open again soon. Also, if you are sitting on the fence and you're not too sure if mastery is for you, I'm hosting this Thursday a live information session over on Facebook. So you can go to momisincontrol.com forward slash FB for my Facebook fan page and you'll check out the information for the event over there. During the information session, I'm going to be talking about the core challenges that modern women are facing while raising their family, why I think it's essential that we really look at ourselves first in parenting, even if our children are struggling, and how to overcome fear and self-doubt when you're ready for change and transformation. So you have two options right now. Either head on over to momisincontrol.com and fill out the application if you've been sitting on the fence, or Go check out my Facebook fan page. It's Heather Chauvin. And there is an event on that page on this Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be hosting a live information session over on that page. So if you can't join live, no big deal. You can definitely head on over there um, after and watch the replay. The applications will be closing this Sunday, June 2nd. We're already into June. Where is time gone? So head on over to mamasincontrol.com and fill yours out today. Hey, ladies, I'm back. And today I'm recording this outside. I call it my outside office. Um, My pool is still green, but it's that spring air. And I sit under this gazebo and... There's a little nest in the corner um, of some little birds. And it was interesting because these little birds come every year. The mom builds her little nest in the corner and then they shit all over the one side of my gazebo and on on the floor and on my carpet. And and it's like, I don't even care about this shit because I just love these little birds. And, you know, the little eggs are there. She lays her eggs and then just watching the birds grow. And this past weekend, um, typically I must have sat out here earlier last year because I remember last year I would watch the whole process from like these little birds. So anyways, yesterday these little birds flew away and there was one bird left and he or she was just hanging out in the nest all day, like standing up and like ready to leap and fly. And it's such a representation for the work that I do with women and parenting and life in general, because, you know, these little birds are nurtured. And once they get to a certain point, they're like, okay, it's, it, you're ready. You're ready. Like it's your turn now go. And so there was four little birds in this, in this nest and, and like one left and the one left is like, damn it. This is me totally putting commentary in this little bird's mind, but it's like, damn it. All my siblings have left. Now it's my turn to fly. And the fear, excuse me, the fear of this little bird. Now, mind you, I am totally um, like predicting, reading the mind of this little bird. And I guarantee you it definitely didn't have these thoughts. But it's like, okay, everyone else has done it. Now it's my turn. And you kind of get FOMO, right? Like the fear of missing out. Which is why I think it's so great that you surround yourself with amazing women. And this has nothing to do with birds, but I just wanted to tell you this little bird story. So now onto the podcast, which is about (laughs) guilt and feeling like shit. I was having this conversation with a client the other day and, you know, she's like, Heather, the core issue here is like guilt runs my life. And my perspective with guilt, I felt, I mean, I still feel guilty for things, but I believe guilt is fear, like a mask, like fear wearing a mask, right? So, and I I have a pretty good relationship with fear. I do understand that fear 
to me, my relationship with fear is fear is false evidence appearing real. It is something that's trying to keep you safe. It's very primal. It is extremely primal. It is, you know, it's your mind trying to make sure that you don't get hurt. And what the mind doesn't realize is a lot of what we're trying to do is not actually going to harm us. It's going to make us better. So we need to use our heart. We need to use our intuition. We need to use our own intellect to, intellect to understand that the action we are about to take outside of our comfort zone isn't actually going to harm us. It's beneficial for us. So when you put the mask on it and, and your brain kind of catches on like, oh, crap, she knows now, right? She knows these, this fear strategy isn't working. So let's call it guilt. So now I feel guilty. Okay, so does my actions change? No, not really. But guilt can be very interesting because, you know, we love our children. We are also hardwired to nurture as women, hardwired to nurture people. And when we feel guilty, we will over nurture, we will over give, and then we find ourselves depleted and exhausted and again, feeling miserable and angry and resentful. So there's guilt. We have guilt. We know, or I believe it is, you know, an extension of fear. But then there is this general consensus of feeling like shit. She's like, Heather, how do I know if it's guilt or if it's feeling like shit? Because I always say, you know, live in alignment with how you want to feel. Fill yourself up, raise your vibration, and, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, what do you need to do? So there is a big difference between guilt and feeling like shit. And I'm going to try, attempt to complain, or explain it to you today. So guilt is, is an emotion. It is, it's an illusion. It's in the mind. Feeling like shit is physical. It can be mental. It can be spiritual. It could be emotional. So when I th- say I feel like shit, typically it will manifest in my body, right? I'm low energy. I've been eating crappy food. I haven't been taking care of my body. It could be emotional too. I could emotionally feel like shit. But here's the thing. Let's just say you are doing the work and you're like, okay, I'm going to go for a walk by myself because you know, going for the walk or going to the gym or, you know, taking that trip or doing whatever is going to make you feel better. But then guilt takes over and it's trying to keep you safe. Then what do you do? So my go-to is, is this action going to serve my higher purpose. And when I say higher purpose, what I mean is, is this action going to serve my better, like my best self? Is this action going to serve my big vision? Is this action going to serve my family? Is this action going to make a difference in the world? And me going to the gym or me going for that walk actually will make a difference in the world because the more I elevate my energy the more I raise my vibration, the more attentive I am, the more present I am, the more, um, the more I can give to others. So when I say guilt versus feeling like shit, you have to really understand the manipulation, the manipulative like effects of guilt. And your children will do it to you all the time. Sometimes your partners will do this to you, your colleagues, other people like, oh, oh, must be nice. Oh, I wish I had that. Oh, well, you're, you're never around anymore. Oh, you work so much. Oh, mom, you're so mean. Every time I ask you to do something, you won't do it with me. You're always too tired or too busy. These are guilt. This is guilt. This is how people guilt you into doing things. Right? You've made your decision. You know, like, I just want to rest. I just want to sit here. Or no, I do want to work. Or honey, I I had to do this. So part of this is unpacking like what feels good to you and honoring that, like truly authentically getting, getting real with yourself. What feels good to you? And then looking at the guilt and saying, are you here to keep me small? Are you here 
to attempt to keep me safe, but, but you're not doing it to serve my higher purpose. So a lot of times when women come to me and they say, you know, I, wanna, I want freedom. And I'm like, okay, let's create it. I want to feel whole. I want to feel alive. I want to feel energized. I want to be present with the kids. I want to be on my game. I want like adventure in my life. I'm like, all right, let's go for it. One of the first emotions that they feel is either fear or guilt. Fear or guilt. Because your life, people, your brain will try to guilt you into playing small. So look at it and ask yourself, is this guilty thought getting me closer or further away from how I want to feel? And if you feel like shit, it could be a byproduct of your thoughts and it could be a byproduct of your actions. So keep that in mind today when you're on your journey. Am I allowing guilt to run the show? And am I willing to get uncomfortable? Hi, my name is Yukari. I am originally from Japan, currently live in New York. Before I joined Heather's group, I was traveling, trying to uh, find balance between raising my six-month-old daughter and also my own business. But I was, I was failing at it because I was losing a lot of money. But uh, right after we started working together, she helped me make uh, almost three thousand dollars and continued to uh, help me grow my own business slowly but surely. She also introduced me to the work of Byron Katie, which changed my life so much that I don't suffer anymore. Uh, I can find peace in any situation. And I just love the person who I'm becoming. It's amazing. Um, I believe in the work of Byron Katie so much that I started teaching for Heather's group and also my local community. Uh, I became a writer. Uh, I write articles for veterinary uh, magazines, journals, and websites. And I just share my experiences and my love for the, the work of Byron Katie. Uh, Heather's Facebook, Facebook group is so supportive that you can share anything and you get supported no matter what. I still talk to my girls uh, occasionally and uh, the connections that I made through Heather's group are, are priceless. If you decided to work with Heather, uh, first of all, you won't, you will not regret. You're going to have to do a lot of work because she's going to kick your ass. She's going to tell you things that you don't want to hear, but you need it to, but but she will believe in you, support you, um, to help you become the best version of yourself. And you will enjoy the process. And uh, a year from now, you will be happy with the decision that you made today. So good luck. And uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck.